hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i will walk you through the customer master data load using migrate your data fury application in order to access the fury launchpad execute the transaction slash and slash ui2 slash flp in the sap system login with sap credentials once logged in, click on search icon which is shown in the right upper corner and type migrate your data so that you will get the Fiery application in the search results. Click on the Fiery application to access. Here we need to have the migration project created in which you will have the list of migration objects like customer, vendor, material, etc. I will make another video on creating migration project using Migrate Your Data Fury application. Click on the migration project to find the customer migration object. There are different phases similar to LSMW like data load, preparation, mapping task, simulation and migration. I will show you each step in this video. As an initial step, we need to download the data load template. Click on the drop down button and click on the download template button. In the data load template, you will have different sheets like information sheet, field sheet, general data, sales data, company code data, etc. Information and field list sheets are just for information purpose only. Fill the data in the required sheets and save the file. The main thing in this data load sheet is a customer number. If the number of the account group is external, we need to input the required customer code in it. Whereas it is an internal number range, we need to enter any random number in order to build the relation between each sheet in the file so that the system can identify the right data for the respective customer and create the customer code in the SAP system. In my example, I have maintained the customer master number as 99 in all the sheets to make a relationship between general sales, company code data, etc. Once the data is filled, click on the upload file button and click on upload the field sheet. Once the data is uploaded, data validation and preparation will be in progress. Once the activities are done, it will show the message as data has been transferred to staging tables successfully as shown on the screen. Then come back to the main screen and click on the simulation button. As soon as we click on simulation button, there will be a job scheduled to check the data if there are any values to be mapped as part of the mapping task and any other issues.
If there are no errors, it will show migrate action button as soon as the batch job is completed. Now we got some values to be mapped as part of the mapping task. Click on the mapping task, click on to be confirmed mapping task and confirm the target value. Once the mapping task is completed, simulation button will be displayed. Click on simulation button to proceed further. Once the simulation is completed, migrate action will be displayed. Click on migrate button. We will get a pop-up warning. Click on OK to proceed further. Once the migration is completed, migration process will be shown as 100%. For each activity, there will be error records, open records and successful records. In the same way, you will be having same steps for all other migration objects. So, this is all for now. Thanks for watching this video. Shining off.